who has not heard, from the earliest settlement of the colony, the aboriginal speaking of some unearthly animal or inhuman creature that inhabited some part of the wildest inaccessible rugged and sequestered haunts of rocky mountains and gorges in the colony. Namely, the Yahoo, Devil Devil, or the Hairy Man of the Wood, which to this day they stand in fearful or and terror of. I for one sympathize with the superstitions or sayings, that the tradition of such unearthly mongrels or monsters have and do now exist, though so rare, and not as yet often seen or believed in by white men. Towards the head of the Lachlan River, on Coolamba Station, not more than ten miles from here, in one of the most secluded and melancholy-looking spots imaginable, imperceptible terror and awe, creeps over everyone that has to pass through this far and wide-known gorge or death chasm of the river. Fourteen days ago, a lad of the name of Porter, son of a farmer on the Lachlan, was shepherding a flock of his father's sheep near the dismal rocky bridge or gorge as so called, when an inhuman, unearthly-looking being was seen by the lad, coming directly towards him from the high rugged and precipitous rocks. His dogs on observing such an unknown monster would not attack and became timid. They crouched around the lad's legs, who became horror-struck with fear. He left the sheep to their fate and ran, together with his collies for home. On relating the inhuman sight he had seen, which was not credited by the father and others at home, they at last mustered courage and went to the exact place described but could not find or see anything of the hairy man. However, on Saturday last, a fishing party of young men and young women went to the rocky bridge waterholes for a night sport. These waterholes are famed, far and near, for quality and quantity of fish. It is customary for those bent on good sport to remain for the night, and as a matter of course, a large fire is made. On the evening of this memorable day, two hours before sundown, the young men and some of the women went to set their lines, leaving one of their young friends to boil the billy and prepare supper. While engaged, the young woman was suddenly startled by observing a man, who as she naturally imagined at first sight, was one of their party coming towards the fire, but on walking closer, discovered the appearance to be unsightly and inhuman, bearing in every way the shape of a man with a big red face, hands, and legs, covered with long shaggy hair. From fright she became almost spellbound, screamed and screeched, but unable to run. The men, on hearing such unearthly cries, left their fishing lines and ran towards their comrade. On reaching the fire, they saw the monster was only some fifty yards distant. On their arrival it stood for a minute or two, and turned away and made for the rocks. Two of the men armed themselves with a tomahawk and cudgel and followed this extraordinary phenomenon of nature for a short distance up the rocky and rugged mountain. Suddenly it turned around and stood viewing the men as they were approaching. They also halted, being then about sixty yards from the object of their terror. Commanding a full view of his whole shape and make, he resembled a big slovenly man. The head was covered with dark grisly hair and the face covered with dark shaggy hair while the back and belly and down the legs were covered with hair of a lighter color. This devil-devil, or whatever it may be called, doubled round and hurriedly made back towards the women and fire again. On seeing him coming, a fearful commotion amongst the females, and a kind of supernatural terror amongst the men, took place. In the meantime, before reaching the camp, it sided away towards the inaccessible rocky mount. The names of the two men who witnessed and took part in the scene are Porter and Dunn, well-known settlers on the Abercrombie and Lachlan rivers. Neighbors all around, organized a party to go in search of the human monster, and hunt him down, dead or alive. It is not many weeks ago that I recorded the remains of a similar animal or creature being found in the Walla Walla scrub. It is well known to the old settlers that the aboriginals will never camp within a mile of this death-like chasm of the Lachlan, though they come long distances every year to fish in the adjoining waterholes, but leave before sundown to camp miles away. Whether this be the aboriginal's veritable yahoo, devil-devil, or the white man's hairy man of the wood, time, it is hoped, will now shortly tell. The Milburn Creek Correspondent Sydney Evening News November 11, 1876